Um, this is gonna be a short, quick video, and I'm this in this video. I'm gonna be talking about how good and evil are on the same side, right? Good and evil are on the same side. Let's look at it. The way I this is the way I see it. Um, good and evil is on the same side because good and evil are concepts of men, right? It's dualism. The truth is, all there is is man's behaviors, his actions, the things he do, the things he say, his actions, right, that govern him. Whether he has or doesn't have discipline, right? The, the concept of good and evil is dualism, and it can lead to people being, they hiding behind different masses, right? The same people that can be telling you they good could be doing the most evil things. Uh, like I said before, it's not good to kill um, native people and take their land in the name of Jesus. That's not good. Right? So, let's go to Job. And there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves to the Lord, before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence com comest thou? Then Satan answered to the Lord, and said, From going to and fro into the earth, from making, from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Had has thou considered my servant Job? Now, right here, what they call God sacrificed Job to Satan. He told Satan, right, to try Job. What gave him that right? What gave him that right to use Job as some type of damn... Some type of damn lab experiment. Him and Satan just playing game with Job to test him. So when I hear people say, oh, the Lord is testing. No, he ain't. What do you got to test me for? Ask yourself that. Why are you testing me? See, that don't make sense. Good and evil. Uh, on the same side, how did Satan get up there amongst them? How did he get up there in the first place? Good and evil, yes, are on the same side. I want you to understand. Now it might not, now it, it, it might not be seen to people in in our world like they is. They they working together, but they are right. They working up. They working together. Um, duality is a concept made up by man. There is no duality. They're just your actions and your deeds and the stuff you say and what you do with the, just like a, a rock. A rock is here on the earth by itself. It's, it's not good or evil. That rock can be used to do many things. It can be used to hurt people. Right? You can hit somebody across the head with a rock and hurt them. It's not good or evil. So, the concept of good and evil today, when you look at different groups, organizations, especially church, church organizations, all these denominational churches, all these new rising churches who fragmented from... Oh, we're not part of the church. We we have our own ministries and we're doing virtual ministries and we all by ourselves. We got our own thing going. You still using the same book. 
the same book with the same concept of good and evil, evil in it, right? So they're on the same side. It don't matter how many times they split. It don't matter how many times they fragment amongst themselves, argue amongst themselves. They still running around looking for other people to put this madness, put this way of thinking in their heads. What good and evil is. Duality is the evil. Period. They're on the same side. Let's go back right here to these market makers. Y'all remember this. I said this in another video. I'm going back to it. Makes sense. Market maker. A market maker is a mysterious organization that controls Cremona from the shadows of society. Its members serve as a main antagonist in B, the beginning. Let's look at it. Yeah, I look at these um, shows because they're just talking about what's going on in real life. Um, uh, Market Makers was founded by Albert Puzo, who was the head of the Jula Ju Blanca Royal Scientific Research Institute. During the late 1900-2000, at the time, the king had decided to pull funding from the organization, which would have caused them to cut out Julia Blanca's experiments in reviving the 13, uh, King 13 winged um, progenitors to alleviate this problem Albert made a suggestion to the king to use the Regis who were let's say who were who were back then known as the Promise Ones, a secret government task force meant to control the peace and the chaos in the country. The king agreed and the task force eventually became known as market makers. So this is the good and the evil working side by side. So you keep seeing all this commotion and people talking about they trying to root out the evil and they're working on the side of good and all this stuff. These people are, they're not doing any of that. They're just causing commotion. And then out of all that commotion, um, the government or the organizations figure out certain flaws in the system oh these people did this oh so so oh now we need to fix this let's put a camera here or put something there and because when we had all this commotion and called all this commotion we, another problem came up so let's fix that problem now let's put 15 cameras over here and they just called that they all working together right Good and evil have been compromised. These are two dualistic concepts that don't make no sense. They were created by man. And they both have been compromised, period. There is no good. There is no evil. Both of them are wrong. Both of them are wrong. They're working together. Yep. So... Concept and good and evil must be done away with. Don't make any sense anymore. There's no way to tell the difference one from the other. Evil looks out for its for its people. People that will call themselves Satanists or any of these types of concepts. You think they don't take care of their children? You think they don't teach them th certain things, whether they teach or uh, teach them how to count or read or, I mean, doesn't make sense anymore. 
concept and do good and evil must be done away with. Something new must come about. God and the devil are on the same team.